Uh, but yeah, so this is where we farm ether gas, and it's also just sort of um, my mini Batman hideout. Um, I can close the door, hold on. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's all I wanted to show you. Again, I wanted to really have more uh, prepared, but um, I, I had other things I needed to do. Uh, so let's let's get an out of here. Let's let's come on up here, and uh, then I'll I'll reclose the floor. So uh, let let let's hit this. There we go. And the the floor should start coming up now. Yeah, there we go. Just wanted to check on the door. So, what else do you want explaining to you now that we're now that we're on a roll, so to speak? What? So this is is this the chip oh, manufacturer? Okay. Have you turned into a yes, mini? Yes, this is the chip manufactory. Do you want to take a guess at how this all works? Um, through water wheels. I mean, yes, this is majority powered by water wheels, I'm going to be very honest, but I meant more how the actual system works. Well, you, <coughs> you gather the dusties and you put it into something that makes something, that then gets put into something else. Well, you're not... Wrong, so like, per so like, se. So like we we got we got our redstone here. That's so like redstone is coming out of here. Oh my god, the, the, the quartz too. So like the redstone comes out and it goes into here and it gets pushed up in this line and then it goes into there and then like something is made and then it comes out and then it's a, for some reason there's a white powder and then the white powder gets turned into chips. Okay, I'll I'll accept that. That that's that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good explanation as to what's going on here. Very quickly, I am gonna just change this back to, from being a single to a stack because um, <clears throat> otherwise it's bottlenecking itself. But basically, uh, the the way this works is we have a condenser over here that is constantly producing gold. It's not doing it fast enough, which is another bottleneck that we're having so far. But once it produces that gold, it puts it onto this conveyor belt here, which feeds it into this inscriber here, which is creating for us some printed logic circuits. Once it's created the printed logic circuit, that then comes along this conveyor belt here into another inscriber, which is really hard to navigate to, because I didn't build this thing with uh, repairs needed in mind. But that inscriber produces... I'm sorry, you a lift e either way, it, it, it feeds it into that which creates another type of circuit, which then gets pushed into this set of funnels here. You can actually see them, they're, they're literally stuck waiting because we have that many um, <clears throat> waiting to go through the system. Uh, but then they come up here, they get put onto the conveyor belt, which then drops them into a third inscriber up here, which creates logic processors. Now, these logic processors then get ejected onto this weighted ejector, which launches them all the way down onto this weighted ejector, which then launches them down onto this conveyor belt here, which pushes them along here, where they get picked up by the mechanical arms to build uh, 1k ME storage components. And we have 4 and 18, 4 stacks and 18 in there. And the only thing they're waiting on now is actually redstone. Well, we've got tons and the of reason redstone. for this is because... Yeah, but it has to split here, and for it to split, one has to go this way first, and because this one's constantly full, because it's being bottlenecked, it very, it, it's very slow at coming down here, which is why I switched it back to producing a stack at a time. But yeah, as I was saying, um, the reason we're doing all of this is because one of the biggest things stopping us from getting rid of the chest monster right now is our lack of space in the ME computer. Because, I mean, if you come down here, I, I, I have access to another terminal. It, it's basically full. There is no space to put anything new in here. You can only put what's already in the computer in here. And we have a ton of drives already. So my plan was to just slowly automate the production from 1K to 4K to 16K to 64K to 256K to 1 million to 4 million to 16 million and then just create an infinite amount of 16 million drives so that we'd never run out of space. However, in doing that, I've run out of physical space. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but this <coughs> workshop is entirely full to the brim. There is barely any room left to do anything in here. Yeah, it is, it's quite... It's quite cozy, you know, like you can feel the warmth of the cogs warm up the room and warm up your soul. It is it's mm. very comfy. As much as I like how it feels being so cramped, it's not good for, you know, working in like this small of a space. So what I want to do is I want to expand the machine room. And I want your help with that because 
I am very OCD about this room, apparently. Something I've learned recently in trying to tear down the room in order to expand it. Um, the idea of breaking the walls of this room actually kind of irritates me. So, I wanted your opinion on what you think we should do. Well, you know, obviously, we can expand this room, you know, push it back, but as you said, you don't feel quite comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. But then again, the whole idea of building an entirely new area for this whole system. Yeah, it feels weird, because we, we already have part one empty, here. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think we should do? If we created another room for the rest of it, we could just push the uh, the results in there via conveyor belt to the next location and then all of this would still look the same. Oh yeah, definitely. But where would you want to put that room? Do you want to expand it in this direction here? In this direction here? Or in this direction here? Or do you want to go down? But that would kind of get in the way of my current lab that's down there. Yeah. I mean, hey, oh, it's why we have doors. Uh, you could expand, mm. oh, do, 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 do. maybe this way, actually, you know, get, get like a little door here, you know, sneak through the premises. Okay, yeah, we can just have like a little tiny dinky door and then another room on the other side. Yeah. The issue therein lies, however, if I just grab my destruction catalyst, I believe that'll push us outside, um, although I'm not entirely sure where we might end up. Uh, so let me grab my destruction catalyst. Oh, that's another thing we've got to do. Wireless terminal. I need to set up a wireless access point. Uh, but I'll explain that in a second. If I just do this, let's see where we wind up. How far underground are we? Two layers. Far, I think. We are two layers underground. Which oh, actually so isn't that bad. Down. Yeah, we can just go down like you said. Dig down. Okay, so do you yeah. have a destruction catalyst? Did we ever make you one? Oh, that reminds me! No, the other we, part we... of your surprise! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's go, let's go. Did you see this tablet over here when we were looking at the other terminal? Yeah, it's quite magical. It's quite crusadery. Yes, so this is the transmutation tablet, and it is in all ways the next evolution of the condenser, except for the fact that you can't pipe shit in. I have tried, I have yet to find an exploit that will let me. But the reason you can't do that is because the way this works is it stores things like an inventory. Instead of having to give it something and then feed it EMC in order to generate that something, this thing stores EMC and it stores every item that you ever put in it. And as long as you have enough EMC, you can take an infinite amount of that item out. So for example, I could give you a gem helmet. Here, take this gem helmet. You now have one. Yes, I do. The gem helmet is here, and it is worth two million EMC. Exactly. Well, now, God, I can't read. are we sharing the same screen right now? Can you see everything I've ever put in here? No. Okay, so we have our own separate ones, but this is how we are going to char charge our client stars from this point forwards, because instead of having to wait, as long as this thing has the EMC for it, you can just put one in and take out a fully charged one. Speaking of which, here is the maximum tier fully charged client star. I don't think I'm ever going to need this, but thank you. I have yet to have to get a new one. I have been using it since I got it. I have yet to have to <gasps> use a new Before one. You still Aren't you going to use the gem helmet? Oh wait, I didn't realize you had a spare one. <gasps> yeah, yeah I, I pulled one out of the tablet for you. As oh. long as it's got an EMC value, you can have an infinite amount of anything. Oh my god, I look so pretty. Yeah, if you do shift X, you can turn on night vision. Ooh. But yeah, so this has just got a bunch of stuff in it already, so I could just pull out a stack of golden apples if I wanted to. Um, but the way we keep this thing powered is by using this condenser here, which is the one that's generating all of our diamond blocks. So if you ever want to give it EMC, just take a stack and then throw it in here, and then that'll give it uh, 25,000 EMC, or I guess 4 million, sorry. So yeah, that's how you use the tablet. Um, now, did you ever have a destruction catalyst? Do. Right, wait, let wait. me clone mine, and then I'll give you one. So if I throw my destruction catalyst in here, what I can do now is I can just pull out two of them. Uh, although I've got to find it first, because I don't see it. Here is a destruction catalyst. Take it. <gasps> you are now going to help me excavate the next room for our uh, automation of uh, storage creation. Word. So we need to figure out the dimensions of this place first. What dimensions are we going to go with for the new room? Two billion by two billion. 
I don't quite <gasps> think that's possible or feasible or logical. Oh. Wait, how do I charge this all? Uh, like, press V to increase the charge, shift V to decrease the charge. Try not to break through to the surface though, I just lit this place up. <laughs> I forgot to do my Duolingo again, I swear to god. Wait, I've still- oh, I've also forgotten to do my- I've I still got time! To do my Duolingo. <laughs> While I'm loading in, I'm gonna do mine now, I've still got time. Oh no, don't- don't do your Spanish, otherwise I need to do my Norwegian. No, no, we can- we can- we can switch over, we can switch over. If, uh, if I do mine, and then I get in the server, when I'm in the server, we can switch POVs, and uh, then you can do your Norwegian. Hey, Vsauce, the drifter here. Yeah. Your kneecaps. Why are they so tasty? See, they're not tasty Let's just find. because of the crunch. They are tasty because of the use. See, you can use them, bash them, mash they, them, they and They taste like stew. barbecue rib. Personally, I and like to sprinkle a little bit of MSG on mine. <laughs> Did you just say you f***ing sprinkle MSG on them? Yeah. You, you know what? Dead. I'm going you, to banish you. you, you oh, Why are you going so low? I'm banishing you. What have you done? I'm I've just looked you around. You're leaving all of these blocks on it's the floor. Oh my god. It's clear. No, it's not. It's clear. Oh my god, let me go and get my goddamn magnet. Wait, that won't work. I've blacklisted all space. those blocks from my magnet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We have space. What happened to even spacing? Where did the even well, spacing that's all go? About even spacing. Look that look, this is an even line. Down. Oh my god. And then I went eight. The even line down is my sanity line. Let's 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 set up a little more structure to this place. Also, you can do your Hungarian or whatever. I'm uh, I'm back in the business What's now. The, I'm back in the business. Why do you think I want to le learn Hungarian? <clears throat> Out of all of the languages, why do you think I want to learn Hungarian? Hungarian's I don't cool, know. Man. Be a warlord. In ten easy steps. True. True, true. Exactly, see? See? You, you, you see the picture. You, you see what I'm doing there. That f***ing ghost. I cannot believe it just got me. I've made my square hole. You've made a square? I've made my Is hole. Is it all the way around? It's going all the way around. Is it all the way around? It's going around. Okay, it's I'm going to start taking out the uh, the the internal walls then. <laughs> My name is Rogue McBadass. I hate teamwork and friendship. I'm going to stab you in the back the first chance I get. Flips hair sexily. Hi, hello. Do you have cheese in your pocket? Blahaj. Do you have cheese in your pocket? We've got a uh, clean tunnel all the way from one side to the other. Now we've just got to match the dimensions uh, over on the other side. So if you want to do uh, that side, I'll uh, do this side, and I'll go up to the uh, height that we're going for as well. I have a relationship with you? Yeah, Gosh. I know, it's f***ing wild, you'd think I you'd remember, just wouldn't you? you. Yeah, you, you I thought I'd think just you, you that was just it. No, no, that, that's like yeah. the foundation of this shit, man, keep up, come on. You, you, you don't recognize no. whenever, whenever you bully me, and I, and I go red, and I go into my uwu voice, and I just like, become a submissive and breedable twink. If you're not in the same room as me, you no longer exist, unfortunately. <laughs> Perception of a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Is this evenly spaced? Like, if I, if I put these down, if this is the center block here, so it's center, then it's one, one, two, two, <coughs> three, three, four, four, five. You left the doors open to the shack. Yeah. God, were you raised in a barn? I forgot how much you leave this shit open. God, have, have, you, missed me? have you missed me being around? No, actually. I've missed not. <laughs> <laughs> having the doors wide open that that seems to be something i'm gonna start missing i listen to your voice oh it is very soothing and that's very really cool. wholesome please leave a like and subscribe to this message <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the guy that did a complete panic of the disco album cover but it's all minecraft parodies no what yeah he went through and did an old panic at the disco album and redid all of the songs on it as minecraft parodies and then released them as its own album album and it's really cool and I, I, I want to steal his idea and do the exact same thing. Do it with like something else like Fallout Boy. I, 
Why did we both think of Fallout Boy? Is that like the default second in line to Panic at the Disco? Eat my nail, you such creative uses of words from a creative. <laughs> you wouldn't use a rapier in an instance where you can use a 12 gauge. All right, they're used in very different situations. For example, you wouldn't say, I wish upon you nothing but pain, and I hope for a thousand generations your family does nothing but suffer, when you could just tell someone a f you know? Oh, I barely didn't kill the water- oh no, the water wheel system's f Oh, god damn it! if you broke the water wheel system on the left, that means everything on the left side of the room is also broken, because it all runs off that one system. Don't worry, I'm fixing it. And if you put it back in the wrong direction, it'll put the system in reverse, which will fuck it up even more. I think- I think I'll- no, no, I- <laughs> there's no way I can f*** this up. Just no when you put it down, up. make sure there it spins the correct direction, okay? It's all spinning the correct direction. I've been trusted with worse on a... Have you checked to make sure pump. the pipes are pumping in the right direction? They are, because they're all spinning in the same direction. Okay, but what, is the arrow on the pipes pointing the right way? I mean, everything's working. That doesn't answer my question. Are the arrows pointing the correct way? I mean, everything's working. Oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on here and like this is gonna be seven things that are broken. Uh. Yeah, the, I, I remember why I demoted you to second, secondary support character and replaced you with Doctor Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. By the way, I didn't show you this because going down there's a pain in the ass. But you know the the infer not the inferium, the supremium tower, right? Yeah. Well, that thing is powered by three hundred plus water wheels that just runs the entire lengthways of our base <laughs> because thought... that's how much it took to get that thing running on water wheels. I thought it was powered by copium and the wind. What? Uh, the top half is powered by the wind. The bottom half is powered by 300 plus water wheels. <laughs> Listen, they are cheap and easy to make, and we had the space. No, we didn't. Don't lie to yourself. Yes, we did. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. No, no, we didn't. You're just you're you're coping. Coping my ass. You can go and have a look for yourself. You know where it is. I do not believe it, and I do not wish to go down there, for I feel like I will suffer a tremendous game crash. <sighs> uh, yeah, actually, that's a fair concern. Yeah, I'm going to be real honest. Landlords, landlords are parasites. They, they are, TikTok honestly. I feel like so. the world would be a lot better if... I mean, let's be honest here. The world would be a lot better place if there weren't landlords oh, milking obviously. people. Obviously. I, I mean, I love a good milking as much as the next guy, but not when it's on the property ladder. I mean, come on. Have some class. No. Not, not, not when... Not, not when I... Not when I... Not when I if I bust, <laughs> I go home worse. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the premise to a minigame. If you bust, you go homeless. Nudist beach or just an insane man? You find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Drifter, boys watch Dragon Ball Z, men watch JoJo. Shut the f*** up. Homosexuals watch both. Hey, you see these two boxes that I, that I've built? I want you to continue them down to the ground as like giant thick pillars. Oh, these ones. Uh, while I uh, continue to um, fill out the re uh, empty out the rest of this area. Of course, of course. Just let me get me. Thank you. Is it cobblestone you're using or stone stone? Yeah, it's cobblestone. Uh, cobblestone for now, we can go through and add, like, fancy tidying it up later. For now, I just want the room to look, uh, functional and nice. A working class level of niceness. <laughs> Imagine that's where the innovation of your and country comes from. Random, insane people in sheds. It's like, it's like the soy jack meme. You're stifling my creativity and, and keeping down the people in the masses. And then it's just Chad Wojak on the other side. You were building a bomb in your shed. Have right, you heard I'm that, uh, that uh, North Korea has officially uh, nearly built a nuke? And do you know how they how they uh, got the instructions to build the nuke from? No, I didn't. Where? So you know, with Oppenheimer being released, yeah, um, North Korea had spies that went into American movie theaters 
and written down as accurately as they could the method of building a nuclear bomb and it's essentially given them half the uh off the tech they need to actually build a bomb. You are kidding. Oppenheimer the movie gave the North Koreans oh. halfway access to the f atom bomb. That that that, yeah. that sounds like a f family guy skit. Mm, see, that that's a good option. Personally, I think she should just sell her bath water to me specifically. And then I'll doctor a dress with the return address. I'm gonna say, how exactly would that help <laughs> us? That kinda just feels like you want to snipe a wolf's bath water. The pillars are mm. Thank you. I wonder why my room was so warm there. I forgot I have a heater on and I forgot to turn it off. The, the Incel heater versus the Chad just sitting here in a blanket with no shirt on. Nine, ten. Okay, it needs to actually be one wider than this. Oopsies. Let's say, let's say you go all the way out to, let's say, like, Costa Rica. And you yes, manage because to dinosaurs still exist in Costa Rica. Yeah, and you've managed to meet a really, really, really handsome dude. And you really want to impress him. And he goes, oh yeah, what's your favorite dinosaur? And then you stum uh, stumble, knowing that this dude's going to leave you because you don't know how to say Tyrannosaurus Rex in Spanish. I would just turn it into a joke and say, tu madre. <laughs> Para que ella es muy... Uh, I don't know what the word for old is. Tyrannosaurus Rex. He is the best. Suck, man. You like Jimmy Savile, so I don't really think your opinion's on that. Whoa! Describe your sex life in, in, in a movie quote. Not the child! <laughs> <laughs> uh, somehow Palpatine returned. But then... Leave a comment down below if you think we should bum hole. No, I shouldn't say that. I know I do not agree we should not bum hole. I'm gonna say. I, I got caught up in careful, the moment. Careful, love. This was an incredible <laughs> lapse of judgment. <laughs> right then, I think... Just abstract. With the... <laughs> Margaret Thatcher as our transition piece, we've finished clearing out the space in this room, and it's now time to actually get on to doing useful stuff, which oh my God, is... You mean, like, actually build the things we said we want to build? Yeah, absolutely insane. So, what I'm going to do, That's I'm going to give you a task... And I'm no, gonna do like another task, okay? Okay. So your task is I need you to build as many mechanical crafters as you can, okay? You know the, the things that we use to craft stuff in the create mod? I need a ton of those, okay? Mechanical crafter. Yes. Mechanical mixer, mechanical pump. <coughs> uh, Harvester plot crafter, there we are. Yes. I need as many of those requires... as you can. Oh no. Well, I mean at least I can automate the uh the crafting table part of that. Mm-hmm. And while you do that, oh, I'm gonna go and craft another inscriber because uh we need another one for the next step of the automation process. Because the next step requires a circuit that we don't have um, on tap. We don't have an automation process for it yet. Um, so I, I need to sort that. Yeah, it's been so long. Had for so long. I don't even know what, it, what, what this place used to look like. <laughs> yes, it has changed quite a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, it's like bright and not dark. And I think I've gotten a bit tunnel vision. Mm, that's, that's called the sunlight. Have you not been using your night vision? No, I forgot there was night vision. You mean the whole point of the helmet? You kind of forgot the whole point of the helmet. Well, to be fair, I wasn't really told the whole point of the helmet. I was kind of just given a helmet and was like, here, well, do take it. Yeah, I, I pulled one out of the tablet for you. As long as you've got an EMC value, you can have an infinite amount of anything. Yeah, yeah, if you do shift X, you can turn on night vision. Ooh. But yeah, so this has just got a bunch of stuff in it already. So I no, in, in fact, the viewers can, can roll back the clip and see that I told you twice about the specific purpose of a gem helmet. Hey, Lois, uh, this reminds me of the time I explained the whole point of the gem helmet and you didn't listen to me. Oh, 